the myth. But let me ask you this then. Given what's at stake, now that we have left the EU, have you conducted an analysis of the economic consequences of independence? It, when we put the choice of independence before the Scottish people in a referendum, we will do what we did in 2014. We will set out a prospectus, we will do the analysis at that point, and we will let people in Scotland decide. Experts from the LSE have done some detailed research, and they estimate trade costs between Scotland and the rest of the UK would increase 15% after independence in an optimistic scenario, or 30% in a pessimistic scenario. Are they right, those experts? I, I, I'm not looking at the, the, the report that you're talking about there, so I want to look at that in detail. So if it's the report, I think I recall it was a very, very narrowly based um, assessment, and it didn't take account of the wider uh, benefits of independence to Scotland's economy. Now, what you've got to remember... You haven't got your own well, costs, though. To, to, look, if you're going to undermine this, I'm surely not, you should have done the maths yourself. With, with the greatest of respect, Kieran, I'm not undermining it. You're quoting things to me that you've got in front of you in an iPad there right now that I don't have in front of me. Has nobody ever said to you, Ms Sturgeon, frankly, candidly, I wish we had this information or just a bit of information about what independence might mean for Scotland's economy? Because I hear it a lot. I don't know if you haven't heard it. Yeah, I think people rightly expect to have that just as they had it in 2014 before they voted yes they rightly expect to have that before they're asked to vote again but now. well well look Kieran, we're in a we're in a global pandemic the growth commission while the underlying approach of the growth commission is one that i fully endorse and sign up to the figures in it are completely out of date because in the period since that was published we've undergone a global pandemic the fiscal position of the uk and most countries across the world has been turned upside down. So we'll do these things in the proper, ordered way. People will have not just the detail that you're talking about, but the vision of taking the future of our country into our own hands, not having it determined by Johnson and his Brexiteers. Nicola Sturgeon, thank you very much. Thank you.